Assalamu alaikum kids, uh, this is Ayaz, uh, it's week 7 and I'm going to teach you grade 7 math. And it's uh, lecture 3 of week 7. And the topic is the same, uh, factorization of quadratic expressions. And you can find that topic in your book 2 on page 105. As usual, I used to do some recaps. And here it is, the factorization. So now I hope you will be familiar with this uh, uh, factorization. means breaking up of an algebraic expression into two or more algebraic expression as a product, the sign between the uh, these uh, one or more, uh, uh, two or more algebraic expression must be multiplication. And uh, you guys now also know that factorization is basically a reverse process of expansion. In expansion, you expand the, uh, the algebraic expressions and simplify it and get the answer. And in factorization, do the reverse process. That you have an algebraic expression, you break that one, you split that one into two or more factors such that the sign between these, uh, these factors is multiplication. And um, the, uh, the uh, recap of the concern topic, the factorization of quadratic expression is, uh, first of all, um, and now I hope you are familiar with the, what is the quadratic expression, that is ax squared plus bx plus c, and uh, that is the kind of Carla's general form of a quadratic expression. And as I told you before, uh, in a quadratic expression, the degree of the expression, the highest power of the variable must be 2. And a, b, c are any numbers. Uh, the only condition is on a that it can't be 0. By making a as 0, you guys know this one this whole first term ax square is going to be vanished and remained is bx plus c which uh, is no more quadratic. So an a, b, c, uh, a, b are the coefficients of uh, the variable x and c is the constant. Okay, so how to factorize uh, these, uh, this quadratic expression is that uh, we are going to first multiply the coefficient of x square a with the constant c and we get the, we'll get the product ac and then we are going to look for two numbers such that the first condition is when we add these two numbers we should get the coefficient b of x and when we multiply the same two numbers we should get the product ac that is kind of recap and we've done some examples in the previous lectures now and so here I took uh, now another practice now 7 which you can find in your book page number 111 uh, I am taking its B part uh, 5x squared minus 13x plus 6 and the very first step I used to recommend is multiplying the coefficient of x square with the constant c. You could see now uh, why I was recommending to you guys that always multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant c. See, uh, in the previous questions, uh, in all those questions, you have seen the coefficient of x square was 1. So multiplying 1 with the constant c always gives you the constant c. Any, th any number multiplied with 1 uh, is the same number. But now you could see the coefficient of x square is uh, other than 1. That's why all you always uh, recommend this one that to make it a habit that we are going to multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant c because you see here we got the 30 now so all the games go with the this 30 not with the 6 not with the 6 just the constant c which used to come 
after the even after the multiplication of a with the c it uh, used to be the same c because the a is uh, a was one in the previous questions so 30 is the one number which we are basically going to play with it so all possible factors of 30 are they are all in front of you now these are the four possible factors and as I told you already uh, 2 into 15 and 15 to 2 are the same two factors so don't make it a duplicate over here so these are four possible factors so let's rule out the ones uh, which are not going to give us uh, our, our wanted numbers so here the first uh, pair if you could see 1 into 30. So all the four pairs are basically giving you the same answer 30 which we are basically looking. So one condition is true for all these four pairs. Uh, but uh, the second condition is that uh, these two numbers when they are added we should get the coefficient b of x. And here in our question what is the coefficient uh, of x? Yes, minus 13. Please, I, I know the students uh, used to make this mistake. Uh, just they say 13. No, the coefficient of x is minus 13. So b is minus 13. So if we add 1 and 30, what we'll get is 31. Or if we subtra uh, subtract them, 30 minus 1 is 29. So this pair goes right away out. And uh, uh, what about uh, 2 and 15? Uh, 15 minus 2 will give us 13 or 2 minus 15 2 minus 15 will give us minus 13. Oh, it's, it's uh, part of the game now. What about the third pair now? 3 and 10. So when uh, 3 and 10 are added, it also gives us 13. So this uh, is also a good contender now. So the last uh, last pair, 5 and 6, when they are at 5 plus 6, it gives you 11. Or 5 minus 6 or 6 minus 5 gives you 1 or minus 1. So the second and third, so the second and third pair, uh, are the ones uh, which uh, uh, might work for us. But I remember I told you only one of the pairs going to be the uh, one which we are looking for. Not two. No way. So let's see which one will work for us. So as I said 2 and 15, 3 and 10 are the good contenders. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let's see uh, uh, which one will work us. So, 2 and minus 15. When 2 and minus 15 are multiplied, it's, it will give us minus 30. But what we are looking for is plus 30. So, first condition is gone. But if 2 minus 15 will give us minus 13. So, one condition is being satisfied, but the other one is not. So I think playing with the signs, no way that you can going to get uh, both the conditions being satisfied. So this pair is going to go out. Let's see the second one. Okay, minus 3 into minus 10. So what we will get is 30. Remember the si uh, signs rule, minus, multiply with minus give you plus the plus 30 and the minus 3 and minus 10 are added we got minus 13 so both the conditions are satisfied so it means minus 3 and minus 10 is the pair which we are looking for so let's solve it now Here's the question and as usual I'm going side by side so minus 13 X the middle term is being splitted uh, according to the pair which we have found this is minus 3 and minus 10 
and if you write it down minus 10x minus 3x is the same thing so as I used to tell you this second step is basically exactly the same as uh, we have started the original equation because minus 13x is being written as minus 3 minus 10x is the same thing it's still minus 13x okay so this is a step which I, uh, I told you in actual practice when you're going to solve it you don't have to write that one this is just for the understanding purposes I, I, I just uh, elaborated the things here so um, uh, here you could see the first two terms and then in the third and uh, fourth term 6 is being written as 2 into 3 okay let's take the common now so in the first two terms I'm basically talking uh, about the, uh, the one which we have on the left side so uh, x is uh, there in both the terms so it comes out what remains inside is 5x minus 3 in third and fourth term you could see uh, we have 2 as common so I took 2 out and uh, I'm taking minus out also so what remains inside is 5x and 3 and this plus becomes minus you remember I told you when you take the minus sign out as a common so whatever the sign is going uh, is uh, between third and fourth term it will be uh, uh, I revert it. It will be um, if it's plus, it's going to be minus. It's minus. It's going to be plus. And on the on the right side, you could see here uh, now 5x is common. Remember on the left side, x was common. Now here 5x is common. First and second term. So what remains inside is x and minus 2. So in third and fourth term, you can see 3 is common. It comes out and I'm taking minus 3 common so x minus 2 is inside and finally uh, again I'm on the left side now so here you could see f5x minus 3 is common in the both the terms so 5, 5x minus 3 is a common what remains inside is x minus 2 and on the right side now x minus 2 is common so what remains inside is 5x minus 3 so you could see in both the ways whatever the way you want to choose it uh, it's going to be the same answer it has to be the same no way that you uh, you, uh, you come up with that two different answers but remember you're not going to do both the ways you could uh, split this middle term in either way uh, one of the ways and uh, that's going to be correct and that's only required basically And uh, for the same practice now 7, I'm taking the C part now. Basically, they, they're giving you little, little, little flavors of this, uh, just changing the signs now. And you could see the, uh, the coefficient uh, of x square, A, is minus 2 now. And C is also minus 9. Never say is 9. So multiplying these two to minus 2 and minus 9, you will get 18. And remember the rule, minus into minus is plus answer is plus 18 so let's see what are the factors of 18 now so uh, these are all possible uh, factors of 18 you won't be able to find other than uh, these uh, three pairs okay so which one will work for us so after writing these factors uh, you are going to basically rule out the ones uh, which are uh, which have nothing to do with our uh, uh, the pair which we are looking for so 1 and 18 so multiplying it gives you 18 fine but when you add 1 and 18 1 plus 18 is 19 but what we are looking for is the coefficient b of x which in our case is plus 9 means 9 so 1 plus 18 is 19 okay 18 minus 1 is 17 again this pair uh, is, is going to be out and uh, this 2 and 9 again 2 and 9 uh, is also not going to work for us 2 plus 9 is 11 and uh, 9 minus 2 or 2 minus 9 it gives you 7 or minus 7 so the first two pairs are out and 3 and 6 3 plus 6 is 9 so this is uh, probably uh, going to work for us 
So let's play with the signs and figure it out what it exactly going to be. Uh, here it is. Um, here it is. So see, three and six is multiplied. We got eighteen, and three plus six is nine, which is B. So that is the basically pair what we are looking for. Three and six. So let's solve it now. Uh, here is the first step. So I split it in the middle term, 9x as 3x plus 6x. Or 9x can be written as 6x plus 3x. Okay, here's a step just to show you how I took the common. And here is the one third step. Uh, basically, uh, in the first two terms, you could see only uh, I just take here to care minus x as common x is the x is there in both the terms it took minus x if I take minus x out then the plus in between these two terms is going to be minus and the third and fourth term you could see 3 is common so I took plus 3 out so what remains inside is 2x and minus 3 okay and the right side you could see uh, I am taking 2x common, not minus 2x. Uh, not minus 2x. Uh, here in the, in the first and second uh, term over here, uh, if we take uh, 2x uh, minus 2x as common, what we will get here is, what we will get here is basically uh, x minus 3, right? Since we are taking minus out, so the sign between the first and second term is going to be minus. So x minus 3. In the third and fourth term, you could see 3 is common. So I take plus 3 common. So what remains inside is x minus 3. Okay, and here's the last step. So I'm on the, on the uh, left side right now. So 2x minus 3 is common in both the terms, is present in both the terms. I took it out. What remains inside is minus x plus 3. And on the right side now, you could see x minus 3 is common. It comes out. What remains inside is going to be in front of you. So... Uh, here is the D part of practice now 7. Okay, 9x squared minus 33x plus 24. Here only the, the, the things are basically becoming a little bit difficult. The number, uh, the AC is a little bit bigger number now. You see the co coefficient of x squared A is basically 9 and C is plus 24. Multiplying these two, you got 216. So you could see here that uh, if you uh, keep on factorizing 216 you will get many pairs as this number this product AC grows bigger I mean the coefficient A in a, if in a question uh, coefficient A and C are bigger numbers definitely after multiplying A and C you will get a bigger number so the bigger number there are more and more factors so in, 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 uh, in these kind of cases it's not you are gonna go uh, exhaustively all the pairs of uh, 216. No, it's a you little know, bit of time. You will get used to it. Uh, just look for the, uh, since we know that we are looking for not 216, the bigger number, I mean AC and multiplied, and we are looking the sum also is 33. So definitely, the, 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 they're going to be a little bit bigger numbers, the bigger factors, which are going to satisfy our, uh, our two conditions. So I straight away, uh, I come up that uh, 9 and 24, luckily in this case, when multiplied, it gives us 216. And as you will see, if we add 9 and 24, I'm getting 33, isn't it? So let's see uh, finally, and how whether it works for us. Yes, uh, 216, minus 9 and minus 24 gives you 216 plus 216 you see minus into minus plus 
and minus 9 and minus 24 when added it gives a minus 33 by simply adding 9 and 24 it gives us plus 20 plus 33 what we're looking for is minus 33 so there is going to be 9 and 24 both is, are going to be negative only then we are going to get minus 33 so but having the negative signs with both of these numbers when they're multiplied we will also get to plus 216 so it means this is the uh, pair we are what we are looking for and let's solve it here is the first step so i split it minus 33 minus 9x minus 24 or minus 24x minus 9x either way and uh, here it is the you could see uh, the third step I took uh, 9x common in the first two terms what remains inside is x minus 1 when the second term the whole term 9x goes out what remains there is 1 and in the third and fourth term minus 24 I took it out so you could see what remains inside is x minus 1 since I took minus also as a common so this plus sign between third and fourth term it will become minus on the right side you see 3x is common in the first two terms what remains inside is 3x minus 8 right 3x is common and the third and fourth term minus 3 is common what remains inside is 3x minus 8 again since minus is common outside the plus sign will become minus and here is the final step that uh, on the left side you can see x minus 1 is common it is present in both the terms it comes out what remains inside is 9x minus 24 on the right side you could see now 3x minus 8 is common and what remains inside is 3x minus 3 okay apparently uh, it looks to be the things are not the similar no uh, and here in this case we're going to have one or two more steps and we'll come up with the same answer okay you see now here so we are going to take um, uh, in in this uh, 9x minus 24 we can take you can see 3 also common 3 comes out what remains inside is 3x minus 8 okay on the right side over here you could see 3x minus 3 and here 3 is common what remains inside is x minus 1 so ultimately you could see both the answers are same and um, is all in front of you now so the things are uh, pretty much similar so don't get confused with this one that apparently doesn't looks like the same okay champs as usual it's uh, your turn and uh, I want to, to see that how much you got and just uh, pause your video for a while and uh, go for the example 7 uh, in your book on page 110 and again as I suggested in this topic that don't go to solutions the way the author has uh, did uh, these questions just follow mine uh, in little stages you can go for that one too for a time being just go the way I'm doing so just take that question from there from example 7 or the, all the parts and uh, solve it yourself the way I did it and um, I hope uh, it has enhanced your understanding and here is your uh, third assignment now uh, which is basically the exercise 3b question 2 the first four parts a b c d uh, definitely uh, all these four parts are quite similar to the ones I did it here 
so I'm going to wait for your responses so please do your work, this homework and send it to me uh, there are many students who are uh, keep on asking this thing uh, what should we do how we can send our uh, homework our assignments you can upload uh, this these, this work either on the system the apps I provided to you or you can mail it to me basically and uh, here I'm going to give you on the next uh, slide to my email address also you can uh, have it and send it to me just mail it to me it means that you attach those images and whatever the files you have with your email and send it to me And uh, here is my email address. You could see on the screen. I just note it down. And um, that's it for today. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you.